Hello, welcome to the video produced by me, Cambridge David, in partnership with Yaserga, the leading brand for IELTS training in China. And today we're talking all about sunglasses. Now today we've got a great part one question for you all about sunglasses. Let's listen to the questions, we'll hear some possible answers, and we'll analyze the language used. Here's the first question. Do you often wear sunglasses? In the summer I wear sunglasses more often than not. For me, it's absolutely essential to shield my eyes from ultraviolet rays and the harmful effects of the sun. Whenever I go to the beach or hang out with friends or I just want to look cool, I always put on a pair of shades. Often, even if I'm not actually wearing them, I try to carry a pair, maybe on my head or tucked into my shirt. Not only are they practical, but they're a great way to express my personality. Now, to answer this question, many candidates would just use words like often or usually or sometimes. But do you notice how this candidate used the phrase more often than not, which means that I usually do something. They also used a really nice collocation. It's absolutely essential. Those words go together very well. And they use the word to shield their eyes, meaning to protect their eyes. That's a great answer. This candidate talked about hanging out with their friends, which is nice in formal vocabulary. And they put on a pair of shades. Shades is slang for sunglasses. So again, it sets a very nice casual conversational tone. For this candidate, I like the phrase tucked into my shirt. These glasses are tucked into my shirt. And then grammatically, they said, not only are they practical, that's a lovely inversion. Not only are they practical, but they're also a great way to express my personality. Another excellent answer. Let's look at the next question. Do you spend a lot of money on sunglasses? For me, buying good quality sunglasses is a must. You just can't beat a good quality pair of sunglasses. Personally speaking, money is no object when buying sunglasses. I always go for the best. I tend not to splurge on luxury sunglasses since I'm always breaking them. I'm a bit of a cheap Charlie. I just go for the cheapest pair wherever I can find them. In this answer, I love the phrase is a must. Is a must means that it's absolutely essential. It's really important. And the phrase you just can't beat a good quality pair of sunglasses means these are absolutely the best. You just can't beat it. In this answer, the phrase money is no object means that the price really doesn't matter. It's not the most important thing to think about. In this answer, the phrase to splurge on something means to spend a lot of money. You go for the best possible product. And then the phrase to be a cheap Charlie means that you go for the cheapest product. You don't want to spend a little bit of money. So in a way, they're complete opposites. Do you give sunglasses as gifts? Now that you mention it, sunglasses would make a great present. They're a real fashion statement and a great way to compliment an outfit. Yes, I do. Only last year I gave a pair of sunglasses to my friend for her birthday. She'd seen them in a store a couple of days before and she'd said that she really liked them. So I decided to go back and get them for her as a surprise. I've never done that because sunglasses are so individual. 
I wouldn't know what kind of style another person would like. The phrase now that you mention it is used when somebody has reminded us of something that maybe we forgot before. Now that you mention it, that's a great phrase to use. Then we have a fashion statement. In other words, they tell something about your character, your personality. And if your sunglasses complement your outfit, it means that the two things go together very well. They match each other. So altogether, this is a great answer. In this answer, the phrase only last year means that it happened very recently. Only last year, I gave a pair of sunglasses to my friend. You've then used the past perfect to talk about something that happened before you gave the person the sunglasses. So she'd seen them in the store and she'd said how much she liked them. Past perfect is a nice example of a more complex grammar structure. And this would definitely appeal to the examiner. In this answer, do you notice how the candidate uses the present perfect? I've never done that, meaning from the past until now. Examiners love to hear the present perfect in your answer. Try and include it if you can. Have you ever lost your sunglasses? If my memory serves me correctly, I did lose a pair once. It happened when I was on holiday in Thailand. I was in a restaurant and I guess I just forgot them when I left. I went back later, but they were nowhere to be found and I was absolutely gutted. They were my favorite pair. I'm so absent-minded and I'm always losing my sunglasses. That's why I usually have at least two pairs so that even if I do lose one, I've still got a pair in reserve. Now here we need to remember that if we're talking about losing something, the verb lose is irregular. Lose, lost, lost. We mustn't forget that. Now in the first answer, the phrase, if my memory serves me correctly, is a great way to say that we're not absolutely sure of the details. We're trying to remember them, but we're not certain. It's a lovely phrase to use. And they were nowhere to be found. That's a nice set phrase, which means I couldn't find them anywhere. They were nowhere to be found. And then I was absolutely gutted. If you're gutted, you're so sad. You're really sad. You're really upset. I was absolutely gutted. Good phrase to use. This answer uses the phrase absent-minded. If you're absent-minded, you often forget things. So it's a great phrase to use in this particular answer. Thank you for joining me. Come back again soon for another video with me, Cambridge David. <laughs>